Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a different one than what I normally post. I've definitely been testing a lot of different types of videos and today is a story time video. I'm gonna tell you all about the day I met Kashmir and Armin Van Buren in the airport and honestly how I made it kind of a little weird. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Cotton Candy. I am a music festival vlogger and content creator, so I travel the world going to different music festivals to make really cool vlogs, reviews, and helpful tip videos about all of them. If you're a current subscriber of mine, you probably are aware that I haven't really done story time videos in the past, so you'll have to let me know what you guys think about this. Yeah, basically, I don't even know where to start. Well, I mean, it happened right after EDC Orlando, so I went to EDC Orlando this year, last month. Oh my god, time is going by so fast. Um, so I went to EDC Orlando and flew out the day right after on Monday. Of course, the airport was filled with so many ravers heading back home from Orlando to wherever they live. I was there really early before my flight took off and I was sitting in the area for all the outgoing Los Angeles flights. And as I was sitting there, you definitely see like a lot of people who are obviously ravers. You know, they got their EDC Orlando swag or their DJ swag. And so yeah, it was basically like the EDC Orlando after party. However, I work as a freelance graphic designer so I really had to get some work done. So I was sitting at the terminal for quite a few hours just on my laptop trying to get some stuff done before I got on a plane that was gonna take me like five or six hours to get home. And oh, by the way, um, I had hurt my ankle and was still recovering from that. So I had this scooter that I had to use to like move around the airport like a knee scooter and then I was wearing like a boot so I had that whole get up and I also had like my luggage and my backpack I needed to have my computer and all my work stuff with it right so I basically am just like really awkwardly sitting in this waiting room area with my injured foot on the scooter and my luggage trying not to take up so much room and then I look up and directly in front of me is some guy like eating snacks and like on his phone but he's like looking down and I'm like, that kind of looks like cashmere. Like, I'm usually not the type of person who like fangirls over a DJ. Uh, this is just different because he actually asked me personally to do a song review on my channel, which I did and I was like, oh my gosh, cashmere asked me to do this and honestly, I was so honored. And then he liked it so much, he later on had me review his whole new EP that came out. And yeah, so like usually I'm not the kind of person who like runs up to DJs, but this was different, right? This was personal. So yeah, I like wasn't sure if I should say something to him and I wasn't sure if it was him or not because he was actually the first DJ I saw in the airport while I was there. Literally, I'm like on my phone looking at pictures of him even though I very well know what he looks like. I was trying to match like his glasses, his hairline to like the photos of him online. Not trying to be creepy. It's just like I did not want to go up to this guy and be like, oh my God, are you Kashmir? Do you? recognize me blah 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 and it not be him honestly felt like a creep on my phone trying to like match up the picture with his face especially because he was looking down I really could not tell and I was so pressed for time on this project like I was running out of time to finish it and send it off but I honestly could not focus with cashmere sitting directly across from me and wondering if it was him or not. And yeah, it was honestly kind of nerve wracking. I don't know why, I feel really silly about it now. But I totally was looking at him and trying to figure out if it was him or not when he looked up and I was like, crap. I hope I didn't just look like a creep, but that kind of scared me. So then I went back to working and straight up just like tried not to think about it. I felt weird. I felt like I was being weird. So he left and I like continued working, finished my project and then had a little bit of downtime. I was texting my boyfriend and he was like, no, you should go up to him. Like, that's really cool that he asked you to do that stuff for him for YouTube. And yeah, you should go try and talk to him. Like, don't be shy. He's just a person. He's just like any other DJ friend that you have. I mean, most of the DJ friends I have are like my age. So it's different. And he's like freaking casual. So I see him line up getting closer to the boarding area for the flight and I was like, okay I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go get up and say hi to him But also I felt kind of weird because I had awkwardly was on this like knee scooter and my foot is broken And I have to like awkwardly carry my luggage and my backpack to scoot over there So I was hesitant, but I finally got over my weirdness and scooted over to say hi to him And I was like hi are you by any chance Neil and he said yes and yeah He was so freaking nice dude like honestly the nicest person ever. He was standing with a friend and I did tell him I was cotton candy and then he was like, oh no way, oh my gosh, this girl is like super big on YouTube and she did like some videos for me and they were so great, like she's so awesome and I was like, 
I feel so cool right now. Uh, but yeah, he was so nice to me. Like he didn't just say, hey, want a picture and bounce. Like he actually had a whole conversation with me. We talked about like my leg injury and how I had heard it at EDC Las Vegas the week before, the two weeks before, and how I had came to EDC Orlando with an injury. And I did watch his set from like the ADA platform all the way in the back. Um, but then we talked about just a bunch of different other stuff. Like he actually had a long conversation with me and I really appreciate that. He was really fun to talk to. And I know you're supposed to wear masks in the airport but he actually took his off to take a picture with me and I like really appreciate that like I would have totally understood if we kept our masks on but like I do like the picture since you could actually like see my smile and stuff even though I look so ratchet because I was so tired and worn out from EDC Orlando like dude going to a three-day festival with a foot injury is very hard like going to a three-day festival in general is like a mission but like dude this was hard so I was like worn out I looked really janky but yeah I really appreciate that and then we're just standing there talking and stuff and all of a sudden Armin freaking Van Buren walks up to us walks up to this little circle we have going on and I was like I like looked to his friend and I was like oh my god that's Armin Van Buren and he was like yeah and I was like uh do you think he would take a picture with me and he was like I don't know you have to ask him I was like well is he nice and he was like oh yeah he's really nice and that is so true he was so nice to me he also took a picture with me and didn't just take the picture he also was like oh my gosh what happened to your foot like honestly it, it's a really good conversation starter to be honest but I'm so glad that I am completely better and can actually walk around without a boot now I'm so excited to attend countdown music festival for New Year's and experience what it's like to go to a festival without an injury again because EDC Orlando kind of sucked for me um but yeah that's my story about how I met Kashmir and Armin Van Buren in the airport. Also, I actually did see Pasquale Rotella and who I thought were a couple other DJs sitting in the airport, but I've met Pasquale Rotella like quite a few times, including at EDC Las Vegas a couple months ago. We ran into him at the campsite um, Saturday night slash Sunday morning at the Disco Bingo, which was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so that was the last time I saw him. I really didn't think it was necessary for me to go up to him again. And honestly, a lot of times when I do see DJs or famous people in the EDM community the reason why I don't go up to them is because once someone notices them and goes up to them like everybody swarms them right and then I feel super guilty I'm glad I waited to the last minute to go up and talk to Kashmir I feel like that was a good idea just in case he got swarmed like I would have felt really bad about that so yeah that concludes my story time video let me know what you guys think if you want any more of these silly story videos of mine I obviously have so many I'm about to hit my 15 year mark of being a raver as as of next month in January. I will have been raving for 15 years, so I have tons of stories. And yeah, next year is a really big special year for me. So I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of content around my past, my history of raving up until now, because yeah, I've been literally raving for like half of my life. It's so crazy. And I'm not sick of it yet, and I don't ever plan on stopping. Rave to the grave, right? If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit the bell so you get notified when I post all my awesome rave, EDM, and music festival videos. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching, and until next time, peace out, Rave Scouts.